Hello everyone, I'm Andy Liu from NHL Draft Central. And now that the 2019 NHL Draft order for the top 15 picks has been decided, I thought it would be a good idea to do a quick mock draft. So this is just a prediction of what will happen come draft day. This is just for fun. The draft is very unpredictable, so most of my pick will end up being completely wrong anyway. That said, I would love to see your mock draft in the comments below. Without waiting any longer, let's jump into this mock draft. With the first overall pick, the New Jersey Devils select Jack Hughes. The 5'10 center is a dynamic and skilled offensive juggernaut. Thanks to his incredible skating, he is able to move around the ice at his will and he passes opponents with such ease. He has some of the sleekest edges I've seen and is so agile and quick on his skates. He has a great vision and he creates so many scoring chances for his teammates. He has some shifty mitts and he can pull out incredible moves. Hughes has a bit more difficulties in his own zone and along the board as he lacks a bit of strength at the moment. But he's simply too dominant offensively to ignore. He makes everyone around him better and he's very deceptive in every play. Which is exactly what you want to see from a first overall pick. With the second overall pick, the New York Rangers select Capo Caco. No consolation prize here. Caco is the real deal. The 6'2 right winger is a versatile offensive forward. He has a great powerful wrist shot and some excellent passing skills. He is able to shield the puck from his opponent so effectively, which helps him keep possession of the puck for long times in the offensive zone without trouble. Good skating and stick and link too. With his decent two-way game and strong play along the board, he is more effective than Hughes without the puck. He might be going second here, but he very well could become the best prospect of this draft. At the third spot, the Chicago Blackhawks select Vasily Polkosen. The 6'1 right winger is a complete and competitive two-way forward. He always plays with intensity and emotion in both ends of the ice. He owns an accurate wrist shot and a decent vision, which allow him to create many scoring chances. He has some filthy mitts which helps him create space for himself and score highlight real goals. Paul Cousin protects his puck well and always battle hard in corners. He backchecks with intensity and stay very involved in the defensive zone with an active stick. A step below Hughes and Kako but still very skilled. With the fourth of all pick, the Colorado Avalanche selects Bowen Barron. The 6 foot 1 left handed defenseman is a smart 2 way D. He doesn't have a great top speed, but he's able to move the puck up the ice with ease thanks to his excellent agility and vision. He has a good breakout pass and he distributes the puck in the offensive zone super well. His great offensive instinct helps him join the attack on odd man rushes and jump into the action in the offensive zone. He defends rushes super well with his slick backwards skating and active stick. He can be physical at times, but he often prefers to stay in position than lay a big hit. He possesses a great hockey IQ and he always makes smart plays. Barham has solidified his spot as the top defenseman recently, so it's no surprise he's the first D of the board. At the fifth spot, the Los Angeles Kings select Kirby Dak. The 6'4 center is a smart playmaker. He has a great vision and he set up his teammates for multiple scoring chances with his excellent passing skills. He has some surprisingly slick hands for a center of his size which helps him dodge poke check and create space to find passing lane. He has a powerful wrist shot, but he often prefers to feed his teammate than finish the play himself. He plays a good two-way game, and he's very effective at blocking plays in the neutral zone with well-timed stick lift. Dak is poised and makes more decisions with the puck. That said, he lacks a bit of speed and he had difficulty staying consistent throughout the year, as he could look as dominant as any prospect one game and look almost invisible the next one. Despite his weaknesses, he has the potential to become an excellent first line center at the pro level. With the 6th of all pick, the Detroit Red Wings select Dallin Cousin. The 6 foot 3 center is a quick versatile forward. He has an excellent speed which helps him pass defensemen on the outside in zone entries and win his battles for those pucks. He possesses a good wrist shot and a quick release. He has some quick hands to match his quick feet which allows him to dodge opponents in the neutral zone with ease. 
present the subu the puck well enough and can win his board battles too. He's decent in his own zone, but he really helps his team on the breakout with his quick acceleration and great speed. He's not quite as polished as other top prospects, but he showcased a great skill set. At the seventh spot, the Buffalo Sabres select Alex Turcotte. The 5'11 center is a dynamic two-way forward. He has a tremendous top speed. He has some deceptive hands and possesses some great puck skills. He distributes the puck well enough and he owns a decent wrist shot. He has some strong offensive instincts too. He's mature physically, which allow him to be very effective on the forecheck and in corners. He backchecks with intensity and he's very involved in his own zone. Turcotte has a very complete game, but he can still be very dynamic with the puck and score highlight real goals. Since returning from injury, Turcotte has been nothing short of amazing for the NTDP. With the 8th overall pick, the Edmonton Oilers select Piton Krebs. The 5'11 center is a smart, complete playmaker. He has one of the best motors of the draft. Playing on a weaker Kutunay team, he drives the play and carries his entire team on his back game after game. He possesses a tremendous vision, which helps him create multiple dangerous scoring opportunities for his line mates. He makes more decisions with the puck and reads the play very well. He is involved in the play in all three zones. Krebs put his heart and soul in every back checks and defensive play. He plays like a fourth liner, but he owns so much talent. At the ninth spot, the Anaheim Ducks select Matthew Boldy. The 6'2 left winger is a skilled sniper. He owns some soft hands, which makes him a threat in one on one battles. He has a great shot, which allows him to be dangerous from everywhere in the offensive zone. Despite being a sniper first, he also owns a good vision that helps him create scoring chances for his teammates as well. He is patient with the puck and makes smart plays. He could work on his pace though. Boldy plays a decent two-way game as he can challenge opponent with his size. The complete package offensively. With the 10th pick, the Vancouver Canucks select Trevor Zegres. The 6-foot left winger is a dynamic and skilled playmaker. He's very creative with the puck and he makes jaw-dropping passes thanks to his great decision and offensive instinct. He has some deceptive ends and some amazing edges. Playing on Hugh's wing, Zegras has also displayed some good finishing skills. He has a slick release and an accurate wrist shot. Even though he has been put on the left wing for a big part of the season, Zegras can also play at center, the fourth NTDP forward selected in the top 10 alone. At the 11th spot, the Philadelphia Flyers select Victor Soderstrom. The 5'11 right-handed defenseman is a puck-moving 2WD with offensive upside. He owns a good top speed and his decent agility and stick handling allow him to move the puck up the ice very well. He makes quick breakout and outlet passes to restart the attack. He is very composed with the puck and despite his size, he is not afraid to get involved in physical battles. Soderstrom is very complete for his age, which has allowed him to play big menus in the SHL this season. With the 12th pick, the Minnesota Wild selects Philip Broberg. The 6'3 left-handed defenseman is a puck mover offensive D. Thanks to his powerful stride, he's able to burst out of his own zone with amazing speeds to restart the attack. He has some good offensive instinct and he can join the action offensively very well. Could improve his stick handling a bit as he sometimes feels slow to react to poke check when he joins the attack. He also has a lot to learn in his own zone but his combination of offensive upside, skating and size is very tempting. Broberg is not as polish as other top defensemen in this draft, but he showcased a great skill set. At the 13th spot, the Florida Panthers select Cam York. The 6-foot defenseman is a puck-moving offensive D. He is blessed with incredible skating abilities that helps him move the puck up the ice with ease. He distributes the puck very well in the offensive zone and he can also finish the play himself with his good wrist shot. He always looks to join the attack or create scoring chances offensively. He has an active stick defensively and can handle physical attacker pretty well for a smaller defenseman. York is a bit of a risk taker, but he's exactly the prototypical new age defenseman. With the 14th pick, the Arizona Coyotes select Cole Cofield. The 5'7 right winger is a skilled and dynamic sniper. He has an exceptional wrist shot and an incredibly quick release. He brings all the offensive tools you can imagine. He has some quick feats and shifty mids that allows him to escape pressure with ease and create space for his shot. He reads the play and positions himself super well. 
He owns a Nikon Pit Level 2. He will obviously need to work on his strength though. He has been compared to Alex Abrincat a lot this season, and rightfully so. At the 15th spot, the Montreal Canadian select Thomas Orley. The 6'3 left-handed defenseman is a playmaker and offensive D. He moves the puck up the ice really well with his decent speed and great agility. He thrives in the offensive zone with his excellent lateral movement and playmaking abilities. He has a great vision which helps him distribute the puck well and read the play quickly to make decisions with the puck. Very impressive puck skills and reshot too. He drives the play in the offensive end. Orly still needs to improve his defensive game, but with all this potential offensively and progression he has made this year, you just can't pass on him. Anyway, what's your 2019 NHL mock draft? Don't hesitate to share your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my previous scouting reports for 2019 prospects. I'll see you for the next one. Here I come, you can't hide Ready or not, here I come